Well hey everybody, how are you doing? I hope you're all well. You find me out on another nice evening ride out. I thought I'd just take you on for another bit of a, a no-nonsense vlog, a bit of a chat, so see you in a sec. Yeah, so welcome back. Hopefully you are all doing well and hopefully most of my subscriber bases in the UK, hopefully the noose has been slightly loosened for you guys and you've been able to get about a bit on your bikes. I've seen some bits and bobs online, people doing vids and getting out and about, which is great to see. So where am I off this evening? Well there's going to be, as I said, there's going to be no sort of flashy dronage or whatnot in this episode. I'm actually off shooting. I'm in a shooting uh, club, which uh, I like to do. And I'm at the moment, I'm uh, in the process of applying for my weapon license, which allows me to uh, buy and store uh, my own weapons or own guns uh, with ammunition. You can store them then at home. Doesn't mean you can use them for home defense or anything. We're not in America, but it means I can buy weapons, store them at home and go shooting for sport, pleasure, leisure, whatever you want to call it. Um, which means I'm allowed to travel to the ranges where I shoot at with my weapons and ammo in the car and I can go and have a bit of a blast for a couple hours down at the shooting range. Whether you agree with that or not, up to you, but as uh, I mentioned in previous videos, I'm an ex-military man and I do, I do miss the shooting. So that is where I'm off, so I thought I'd take you guys along for the ride. Now I will try and film a bit of bits and bobs when I'm there, um, if it's allowed. Um, so if, if I can do that, then I'll, uh, I'll blart a bit of footage in at the end of this vlog. But other than that, it's great to be out. The weather's really nice here at the moment. And uh, yeah, I thought it'd be rude not to take the bike this evening. Plus, it uh, gets me out and about to make a bit of content for you guys. And hopefully you have been enjoying the recent content uh, of late. Especially the podcast that I did with Bruce over on at Teapot One. Uh, if you have missed that video, then I'll see if I can link it up at the top there. So check that one out. Absolute, we had an absolute blast. I mean, it was a right laugh. And it's just nice to do something. I mean, it's a podcast sort of video. Um, and we spoke for two and a half hours. But it was just nice. And the, the feedback from you guys has been fantastic. You seem to be loving the sort of no-nonsense um, part of it. So basically two blokes sat together bathing in the juices of the amber nectar while talking about topics of the day and questions that have uh, that you guys have put forward and we did have an absolute riot although we were fairly pissed towards the end of it uh, we had a we had a good laugh and uh, to be honest it's be it's, it's it's come so well across and we're so happy that you guys are enjoying uh, join Bruce's podcast and what an idea that is I mean it's obviously ideal for him over the lockdown period to get something like that done um, so it was a kind of blessing in disguise. So I'd just like to say thank you from me and probably on behalf of Bruce for all your positive feedback and comments. And um, that's what we love to see. You know, and it does really come across in your comments that everybody is enjoying his um, podcasts and video podcasts. So thank you for taking part in it. Thank you for all of your questions that you asked me and for Bruce, I'm sure. As I said, we had an absolute blast and, and a giggle and uh, we're so glad that you guys enjoyed it. Now, unfortunately, I did mention on uh, my last vlog that I did, so it was probably about three videos ago, um, that I had a tour booked for the end of this month, uh, for the end of May, a three-day tour away. Um, that has been uh, cancelled in the time that we've had... Uh, up until now from the last video unfortunately that has been binned off so that is now not happening either but it doesn't mean I can't get out I'm still gonna I've still booked that time off the three days um, I probably won't go away for the three days now on my own but I'm gonna get some uh, one or two rides out over those three days just to get some nice content done probably go somewhere nice for the day and it'd be rude not to take you guys with me and if you did watch um, Bruce's podcast or the podcast video, we mentioned in that video and as I did previously, um, we are planning to meet up in August. So me and Bruce, T.1, Andy Mancam and Bulldog Gaz, 
and we're hoping that it's going to work out now that the sort of uh, I mean as I said before we've never had a lockdown here but they are slacking in up the rules here quite a lot and we're pretty much now everything open um, there obviously are some restrictions but um, you know pubs and restaurants hotels are now sort of back in business um, so hopefully that is still going to happen in August all we're all we're sort of praying out for is that Bruce can actually get here now I did hear on the radio this week that they are starting to look at opening up uh, the borders for Germany to neighboring countries so I think and that's going to happen within the next few weeks I think so latest by July I would have said I think they've told us um, sort of holiday within Europe is going to be possible so um, I can't remember the exact date in August when Bruce was coming over I think it was kind of towards the middle of, of August so I think he's going to be uh, uh, all right to come over the border should be open by then and uh, hopefully the, all the ferries are back up and running and he can get here and that that will then take place because I'm absolutely dying to get that weekend done because that, that's going to be a, an absolute hoon I met Bruce two years ago he came over two years ago to meet me and uh, and Gaz it didn't work out that Andy uh, Andy had a bit of a brain fart and he, did, he couldn't make it in the end but we had a weekend down in Zauland hooning about down there again if you miss that video I'll uh, link that at the top here um, and we always have a good crack it's always good to get out with um, especially with vloggers because we're all sort of like-minded people we all share the same passions not only from biking but from the sort of film side of things and everybody appreciates you know if people want to stop get some extra b-roll or some pho photography photography <laughs> some still shots um, everybody appreciates it and everybody got gets along and uh, we get it unfortunately if you do ride with friends that aren't interested in that sort of thing it can be difficult to film a decent vlog and stop off and send the drone up um, because it's a bit more difficult to do later on in the year I still have some other tours booked so I'm hoping that they are all going to take place I think the next one yeah I think in fact the next tour away organized will be the meet up with Bruce Andy and Gaz and then the weekend following I've got another weekend away with BMW um, can't remember what tour that is I could be Turingen I'm not sure um, so that one's that's another two tours in August and uh, there's one in September and this just in I have now booked a track day for the 11th of June because my um, because my trip away at the end of May has gone uh, tits up I've um, I got offered to go on the track day and I said no I couldn't because I was going away in at the end of May and I couldn't do both so I subsequently phoned up and got myself back on the track day um, so 11th of June next month I'm going back down to Bilsterberg uh, which I did last year again video in the top if you want to check that out um, I'm going back there for the day and I'm uh, taking the Andy man cam with me he's jumped on board so that should be cool so he's gonna ride down the day before and we're gonna stop over and uh, ride to the track together do an all-day session on the track and uh, go on a merry way from there yes a few of you have already asked if I can film that and yes last year it wasn't a problem to, to vlog it and to film it so hopefully that remains the same um, again restrictions for the track day are in set in place um, due to corona so there will be somebody although we'll all be there be limited to how many people can uh, be in, in the in, in the pit box if you like and all our sort of briefings and whatnot that would normally take place at the track is now been done online um, I had emails last week so you had to watch the sort of the virtual videos briefings and whatnot the uh, mandatory stuff so I watched all that um, this week so I think it would just be a case of turning up getting your sort of pit box your slot and you'll be given your sort of uh, group ins and uh, track times session track times and then we'll be away what else have I got uh, yes again later in the year my pit bike training that got cancelled for March that will be happening later on in the year again but I think that's going to be sort of uh, looking October time because it's, a uh, because it's a specific track that we booked we still want to race that track um, and the next appointment for then is, is not until October so probably going to have to wait uh, for that one but that's not too much of an issue so that's the sort of main organised uh, stuff 
obviously no larger European tour or UK tour that got bin so none of that is happening this year but the small trips away are hopefully still taking place and uh, yeah it will all get pushed off uh, pushed off to next year so hopefully all being well I can get back to UK on my tour next year I'm hoping that'll all stay the same you know never say never but I'm, I'm so I've, I'm craving to go back to the Alps I've not been for the last two years Oh, and it's really doing my nutting but because um, because the English or because the the UK tour was on the cards and I really want to get out and do some meetups with you guys as well um, that should still stay It'd be nice to get two tours in a year done because of this year's disasters but that probably won't happen either it's kind of poor she's doing my nutting So that is where things are at now I appreciate a lot of you are going to be in the same boats there's not going to be any sort of uh, larger sort of tours away biking wise I think you're better off even as some of you have mentioned uh, a couple of you have mentioned that you're coming over to Germany this year or had it booked whether that'll work out or not uh, hopefully it does work out for you um, because obviously uh, ferry wise and whatnot you're probably not going to get your money back um, but I've just kind of uh, just mugged it off for this year and sort of have to put up with the fact that this year is sort of done and dusted but I appreciate some of you guys had already booked stuff and you're kind of clutching on straws that it still happens We can only hope and pray that things work out but I've, I've sort of said to myself even if things you know were to all of a sudden change and we were allowed to travel within Europe and it was towards the end of summer and you could could still go whether it would be worth it or not um, as I said I appreciate you guys that have already booked stuff you're hoping that it will still happen but I've now cancelled out all my plans and um, think of whether I should even if things uh, do change whether it would be worth it or not I don't know I kind of just drawn a line um, through this year and uh, planning will start for next year I think that's the best way to go stay there you <laughs> kids love it so I'm nearly there, two and a half k's to go and I'm half an hour early so there's only one thing to do when you're half an hour early and that is to eat a curry versed chips with mayo on the chips. Unfortunately I don't have Catherine Hegel on the back and I'm not traveling to an alien planet. If you missed that gag you'll have to check out our video podcast from t one it was absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Some of your questions guys are absolutely hilarious. You know, it was a kind of a mixed bag. There were some serious questions, you know, bike orientated that we tried to answer, the, answer as seriously as possible. Uh, but a lot of them were uh, just complete bollocks and it was hilarious. Rifle Ranch. Guten Tag. Klar.